Um, let's go ahead and we'll start with our warm up. Okay. So we're going to sit, uh, scooch forward onto the end of our seats. We're going to sit up nice and tall, opening up our feet so we have a nice base of support. And we'll start with some um, breaths in, raising our arms up above our heads. So we have that stretch throughout our trunk and then back down. As I bring my arms up, I'm going to take a deep breath in, pause, and then exhale as I come down. And we'll do five here. Nice and tall. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, we'll do range of motion at our neck. So we're gonna alternate in between looking up at the ceiling and looking down at the ground. And we'll do, um, we'll alternate until we get 10. So they'll give us five in each direction. So I look up is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then uh, looking over each shoulder. So we'll start from a neutral position, look over the right shoulder. We'll do that five times and then we'll switch over the left. So from that neutral and look over the right and back. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And then switching one, two, three, four, and five. And with rolling our shoulders, we're gonna shrug the shoulders up and roll backwards. We'll do five in that direction and then we'll go in the forward direction. So coming up and down, one, two, three, four and five and then reversing one two three four five uh, opening up at the chest we're going to start with the hands facing towards us and then opening wide and coming back in and we'll do five one two three, four, and five. Good. Um, next, we'll do some power-ups. So I'm gonna bring my hands down to my thighs. My chest is gonna come down and I'm gonna push big and fast and opening up my arms wide, okay? And we'll do, uh, let's do 10 here. So coming down, power up, that's one, and down two, and down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10, good. Uh, next we'll do some power rocks. So again, we'll alternate until we get to 10. I'm gonna have my weight come heavy down on one side of my lap, my arm. The other side's gonna be nice and light so I can kick that leg out and bring the arm up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna look up at my hand and then coming back, I reverse my sides and up at the ceiling. And let's alternate until we get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Good. Uh, next, let's do some flutter wrists. So I'm gonna have one hand facing up towards the ceiling, opposite hand's gonna face down towards the ground, and we're gonna alternate until we get to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Uh, opening up at the hips, we're gonna do our power step out. So I'm gonna take a big step out and then I'm gonna step back in. I'll do five on one side and then I'm gonna switch to the opposite. So stepping out, that's one. Out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five, and opposite side, out, one, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five. Good. Um, at the ankles, we're gonna alternate in between bringing the heels up and then back down and then bringing the toes up from the ground, okay? And we'll alternate until we get to 10. So heels come up, that's one, toes up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. And last one, we'll do um, some marching. We're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. Um, let's, let's go to 20 with this one. That'll give us 10 on each side. So I'm gonna bring one arm up, opposite leg comes up, back down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. All right, so for today we have two different circuits. Um, each circuit's gonna consist of three exercises and we'll have a minute with each of those exercises, 30 seconds to rotate and we'll repeat that twice. So we'll end up doing six different exercises. Um, each of them will be done twice. So for um, the first series, we have um, our sit to stands with a walk around. All right. So with my chair, I am, there's no good way to get me completely in the, um, in camera focus for this one, but you're gonna stand up, you'll walk to the side, take some steps backwards so that we're walking around the chair and back to the seat. And then again, standing up and then going in that opposite direction. So multi-directional stepping, good to help our coordination and balance. And then of course, sit the stands are always a good way to functionally strengthen the legs. Okay. Um, in the seated position, uh, now we need our hand weights for this one. We're going to do opposite arm um, punching out with that opposite leg kicking. So alternating with this one, they'll kick out for that minute. Good. And then getting down to the ground. on our mats. We can use the hand weights for this one as well. So I'm gonna get down into that tall kneeling position. So just meaning that both knees are down. Let me see if I can bring my computer down to the side so you can get a better view. So I'm in that tall kneeling position. And then I'm gonna 
sit back towards my heels. So from this position, I'm gonna sit back towards my heels. And then as I come up, I'm gonna raise my arms up, okay? Down. And I'm stopping at about that shoulder height, okay? I always say I need my own personal cameraman to make sure that I'm in the frame here, especially when you're changing levels. It would be a lot easier if you didn't change positions between in the circuit. Yeah. If you did three in one position, everyone else does that. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, because it, it changing, for, for instance, iPads uh -huh. to get up and down, yeah. is it takes too much time and we're not ready for you. Okay. Well, we'll think about that next time around. Yeah, okay, we'll thanks. Look it up for you guys. All right. All right. So, getting started with that first one in a seated position with our walk arounds. We'll take off in about 10 seconds here. And ready, we have a minute on, 30 seconds to rotate. And we're starting, so standing up. And down, and up. Good. Oh, I've already forgotten which way I went. A little thinking. Halfway there. Good. Last 10. Let's see if we can get one more end. All right, switch into that seated position. Got 30 seconds to get seated. All right, starting. So punch, kick, and opposite side. Good. And about halfway there. And last 10 seconds. Good. And switch into the ground. About 10 more seconds. And starting, sitting back towards the heels and up, lifting the arms and back, up, back, up, back, up. Good. Oh, 
Almost there. All right. That's the first round. And we'll repeat that series. So a moment here, we'll go back to those sit to stands with our walk arounds. We'll take off in about 10. All right, we'll get started. And up. And opposite way. Good, halfway there. And last 10 seconds. All right, sitting down, getting ready for those kicks and punches. And we take off in about five. And kick and punch. All right, halfway there. And last 10. Good. And getting ready to go onto the floor. And I'm sitting back towards my heels. And as I come up, arms come up. Good. 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 Halfway there. And last 20. Good. Almost there. All right, made it. 
And you guys can go ahead, pause, get a drink. We'll take about 30 seconds and then we'll go over the next circuit. Okay, so for the next round, same thing. Looks about just about everybody's on their way back. So we have three different exercises. Starting with the first one, we're gonna do uh, rows. So we'll keep it just in one arm for the first round and we'll switch to the second arm for the other round. I'm gonna uh, use my hand for the hand that doesn't have the weight. It's gonna go down to the chair my same leg is going to be forward. So on this position here, and I want to keep my back flat, and I'm going to pull up towards my hip, and then I'm going to switch. So first my, my wrist is facing towards my ankle, and then I'm going to turn so that my, um, my wrist is facing towards my foot, and I'm going to pull up this way. So... First one, keeping my elbow in. Next one, my elbow goes up high. So we'll alternate in between those for that one minute. Good. Um, for the next one, we can do either in a standing position or we can do it in a seated position. This one, we're gonna need our obstacle that we grabbed. So if you do it in the seated position, we're gonna grab our obstacle there. And again, we'll do just one side first. And I'm gonna step over that obstacle and step back, okay? And same thing with this one, we'll do all on one side and then we'll switch to the other side. If I do it in a standing position, still doing it in one side, I can have my chair here to help me as well. And with this, I'm going to step over and then shift my weight towards that front foot and step back. Good. So it's two options, either seated or standing for that second one. The next one, we're going to do our half kneeling to standing. So practice standing up. We can also, if we don't want to get up and down from the ground, we can just alternate lunges with the chair in that standing position. So if I wanted to do it that way, I could just come here and lunge and back and lunge. But for the added challenge, we're going to stand up and come back down and the opposite leg comes up to help us stand up okay so alternating those stands all right We'll get started, starting with that row. So we're alternating in between coming into this direction, elbow in and coming up high. And I'll show you what that looks like from the front too. So that first one, I'm keeping it in. Second one, when I pull up, elbow comes high, okay? All right, and we'll stay all to one side and we'll switch to the opposite side. 
and starting. And up. Good, about halfway there. Good, last 10 seconds. All right, getting ready to do that step, either our power step in the seated position, power step in the standing position. And taking off here in about five. So stepping over and back. Good. And halfway there. And last 10. All right, and switch into the ground. And again, we can do this in the standing, just alternating to that forward lunge, trying to get a stretch in those hip flexor muscles. Good, and we'll start. Leg comes up, all the way tall. Same leg's gonna come back. Good. Halfway there. And last 10. All right, and we'll take a short break, get a drink of water. We're gonna do that series again. So now switching over to that left arm.
Our step will be with that left as well. So now my right foot's gonna be forward. My right arm's gonna come to the chair and I'm gonna alternate in between that mid row, keeping my elbow tucked in, that high row, keeping my elbow high. We'll take off in 10. Good, starting, coming in and high. And hi. Good. Halfway there. Last ten. All right. And switching. Same thing with our power step. Now we're going to step over with the left side if you did with the right the first time. Taking off from five. Good. And stepping and back over. Good, halfway there. And last 10 seconds. All right, and getting set up for those standing. And take it. And again, we can do those standing lunges in place of getting up from the ground. All right. And halfway there. And 
our last scan. All right, you made it. Okay, everybody, you can go and get a drink of water. Um, the last thing that we have left is our power series. Um, today, the power series is going to be done on our belly. Always an option to do it in that seated position as well. And we'll do reps of it, of each position, and then we'll flow it all together. So I'll give you some time and let everybody come back and then we'll go over those power moves in the belly position. I'll give it a couple more seconds. So again, we'll go over those, um, what they look like first. We'll do repetitions of them, um, 10 of each, and then we'll flow it together in a flow series. So our power up in that belly position, I'm gonna bring my elbows wide and then I'm gonna bring them underneath my body. So here would be my power up position. So I'm coming down and then bringing them in tight to my body. That's our power up, our power rock. I'm gonna lean across and reach to one corner, back into my get ready position and I lean to that opposite corner. So with this one, the power up will do 10 total. Um, with the rock, we'll do 10 total as well. That'll give us five on each side. With our twists, so twists, we're gonna thread the needle. So I'm gonna bring my left hand in that little hole that's created by my other arm and my body, going through, rolling over to the side. I open and close and then back down into my get ready position. And then I'll switch and do the opposite side. My power step, I'm gonna come on my elbows, step out and bend with my body, with my trunk to the side, back in and then to the opposite side. And again, we'll do 10 total of those. That'll give us five on each side. Uh, after we do those repetitions, we'll take a look at how the flow will look as well. All right. Um, we always have the option to do the power up, um, the power series in that seated position. So as well. We're coming down and we'll do 10 total. So I bring my arms up underneath me. That's one. And back out wide underneath me. That's two. And wide beneath me. Three. Good. And under four. And under five and, and under seven and under eight and under nine and under 10. All right, next we're gonna do our power rock. We'll alternate until we get to 10. So as I rock, I reach across one side of my body, back to my get ready position, 
opposite, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Next, we'll do those power twists. So again, I'm going to thread the needle on one side, roll over, open, twist into my get ready position, the, threading the needle on the opposite side, rolling to my side, open, twist, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, last one will be our power step. Okay, so from this get ready position, we're going to step out and bend down our trunk to the side, step back in, opposite side steps out, and in. Out, three, out, four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, out, nine, out, ten. All right. Uh, we'll do five repetitions of linking those all together in our flow. So when we flow it together, it just means that we're going to do all the moves in succession. Um, with this one, we start with that power up, and then we go straight into our power rock. Good. Into our power twist. Open. And twisting the opposite direction. And into our step together step together, all right? Um, so we'll go through, that equals one repetition. We'll do five total, five more, um, and then we'll do our cool, let, cool down. So coming down to the belly, propping up, power up, straight into our rock, and rock, and going down to our twisting, and we'll twist the opposite direction. Open, twist, and step together, step together, back down, power up, good, and rock, rock, and we'll twist, open, twist, Good, open, twist, and step together, step together, down. It's our third rep, power up, reach, and reach, and twist, open, and on the opposite side, Twist, 
open and rock. I'm sorry, step. <laughs> All right, two more. Go down, power up, and reach, reach, and twist, and twist, and step together, step together. And last one, down, power up, and reach, and reach to the side for our twist, and opposite side for our twist, good, and step together together. All right, guys, we made it. All we have left is the pull down. Some stretches. We'll come back to our chair. And we will start by stretching the back of our shoulder. So your right arm is going to come across your body. You're going to hug it in with the opposite left side. We can do some wrist circles with the right arm as well. So we'll do both directions clockwise, counterclockwise. And reverse. Good, and we switch sides, bringing that arm across our body, hugging it in. Good, and reversing. Good. And next, we'll stretch those muscles in our upper neck and shoulder. So I'm going to bring my right ear towards my right shoulder. My left arm is going to be planted on the chair. If I need to, I can give some overpressure with that right side. Should feel like a good moderate stretch, but it shouldn't feel like it's causing pain. And we'll switch sides. So now that left ear towards the left shoulder. Good. All right. Next time I have you hug your knee in towards your chest. Same as like we did with the wrists. We're gonna do some circles with that foot. We can do in clockwise and then reverse it into that counterclockwise position as well. And reversing those circles. And switching sides. Good. 
reversing. Good. We'll do a stretch for our hamstring muscles. So we want to make sure that our leg is all the way straight. Good. We'll keep the toe pointed up so that we can incorporate those muscles in the back of our calf as well. And then you're just going to hinge forward at the waist so that you feel a stretch in the back of the thigh. And we'll switch opposite side. All right, and then last we'll end with just some cat cows. So rounding our body, making that C position with our spine and then sitting up nice and tall, feeling that stretch in our um, front of our shoulder and chest. We'll do 10 total. And up, that's one, and down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, and nine. Last one. Good. All right. That's all I have for you today. Great job.